Hello everybody, welcome back to the Thunder Media, coming to you with another review. This time we're back at it with another Star Wars show, Andor. Came out last night, the first three episodes out of 24, I believe. And, you know, I gotta be honest with you guys. I try to be honest on this channel. I always try to be honest and I always say what about how I feel about Star Wars, okay? And what Disney's been doing. And at this point, Star Wars is very tarnished. And what I think about Andor in the first three episodes is that I think it's very mid. I think it's a very mid show. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I think it's very mid. And I think with a lot of Disney content, that's how it is. It's very mid. Um, but this show is very slow paced. It's a very different Star Wars show at times. It doesn't even feel like it is a Star Wars show. Uh, it's very different than what anything else Disney has been doing. This is way different. And... For me, the enjoyment of watching Disney Star Wars is just not there really anymore. There is no enjoyment watching Star Wars. It's Disney Star Wars. There is not any enjoyment coming out of it. Did I hate this show? Do I hate the first three episodes? No. Do I dislike? Do I love them? No. If I had to give the ranking of this show right now any a score, it would be a 7 out of 10. I don't love it and I don't hate it. I think it's just a very, very mid show. Um, it is very slow paced, but it's different. It isn't a flashy, action packed show. There's a lot of talking, there's a lot of walking. But I don't know. I, I, I can't say it's bad because I don't think it's bad. And I don't think it affects a lot in the Star Wars universe either. Not a lot happens in the show. Three episodes, they really make a very elongated story about one little plot point they could have probably furnished out in one episode in 30 minutes. Like, they really, really... I don't know what they're doing. It's very slow-paced. Now, with 24 episodes, I guess maybe that's why it is so slow-paced is because they just need content for 24 episodes. Let's then again, if you think you need... To have all these really slow-paced filler episodes. Well, they're not really filler, but just slow-paced episodes to fill out 24 episodes. And just don't do a 24-episode series like you've been doing. So do I love it? No. Do I hate it? No. It's just the Andor show, which a lot of people think coming out of the bat when they heard Andor show weren't really excited about it. But is it better than Kenobi? Yeah. Is it better than Boba Fett? Yeah. Is better than Mandalorian? No. It's not. But I guess there's a long way to go with this show. So seeing where this show's going to go, we don't know. But we'll see. And, you know, I really don't... It, it, my love for this show could be just tarnished because of Disney Star Wars. So that could be a big thing, too. Is that I'm biased because it's just... There is no connection with what is happening on the screen anymore. Especially Andor, which isn't very a connected character for a lot of people because he was in one movie that no one really cared about. So the connection is not there. But I, I have to give it to them. They're not trying to do the cameos every week that people talk about. They're trying to, trying to do a character-driven story. I think they're trying to do something different, but we'll see where they go. It could turn out to just be a cameo after cameo. It could be, but... Uh, it's very different, and I don't know if it's even a Star Wars show at this point right now, but we'll see. Other than that, thanks for guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. You like what I'm doing here. Leave a comment down below what you think about Andor, and we'll see you in the next review. Goodbye.